Hello everybody and welcome to this sequence of the Turok 2 Any% Percent tutorial. This time we're going to tackle the Lair of the Blind Ones. Now, you've just come out of the hive, so you should feel pretty relaxed at this point because Lair is nothing like hive. Lair is really easy. It has some tricks that can make you go insane, but it's not that bad. You don't need to know anything super major to get through this level. No ammo management or anything. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Right, so Lair is kind of long, and I think that's the only real difficult part about it, is knowing exactly where to go in what position, right? There's a lot of areas that looks exactly the same. Anyways, first off, we're gonna start off with a Cerebral Boar on this guy, just because we can. There's no other reason as to why I'm doing that. Literally no other reason. Uh, there's a very small chance he can stand right here and block you and knock you off the cliff, so I use that as my excuse. Anyways, do a quick save and a quick load in the middle of the air here, where you don't suffer any loss of control for loading back into the game. And you want to head straight down here. The reason for the quick save is of course to get a gate to remove its collision box early. Head over here and hit this switch as fast as you can. And get over here and get this gate key as fast as you can. Get out your shredder with explosive shells and shoot the spider to death. There we go. That will open the gate here. Get the Primogen key and jump down. So the reason why we do Lair after Hive is so that we have Whisper's Talisman so we can get that Primogen key early. That's the only reason. Get your Plasma Rifle out for this and sh shoot this Entrail because he can be a real pain in the ass and block you. Right, so this is a little sequence break right here. You're not supposed to be able to do this jump at all. Right? It's supposed to throw you down into the water, but... At the very end of this, if you just strafe and jump, you're going to be able to land on this platform here very easily. You know, normally you're supposed to land in the water and you're supposed to swim all the way over there, climb up, and then climb that way. However, this way, we can just go ahead and wall, or not wall jump, uh, walk off jump up here, kill this worm, and proceed. I should also say that, for those of you that are aware of how the game works and stuff, you might have noticed that we skipped the uh, talisman... Uh, portal and we've also skipped Well, no, that's pretty much what we have skipped. We haven't activated it That's because we're not going to in this level any percent does not get the heart of fire talisman at all. There's no need for it instead Let's go down further in this little tunnel here. You want to go to the right Those two entrances there only lead to a loop So you don't want to go there and we're gonna shoot a spider that falls down from the ceiling here using our explosive shredder as such and now, I'm gonna show you a beginner's thing versus a advanced thing, all right? So I'm gonna do a save. First off, beginner's thing. Normally, they want you to enter two little caves here to shoot two switches over here. But what you can do is just walk forward here in the water, right? Swim right into the gate and shoot an explosive shredder shell, and you'll open this underwater door, all right? You don't have to go around or anything and hit any kind of switch. Now, the advanced way is Right over here, in the ceiling, you can actually jump and see you right through. So whenever you're jumping, or like, when you're running past here after killing the spider, what you want to do is like, jump and try to get a shot. You can't aim it very well, right? But you want to get a shot, and at least hope that it hits both of the um, things, and it will say, underwater door open like that, if you succeed. And when you get here, the door will be open. So if you're new, and you're worried about using too many explosive shells don't worry about it uh just go and do the standard way you'll get it every time it's just a bit slower all right so get up here get the cave door key and we're gonna keep going forward this is kind of what's also really good about lair although a lot of the areas do look the same kind of uh there's kind of a linear path so to say right there's a very few areas where you can actually get really really lost as long as you have an idea of where you're going for this air section, press tab, get the map out, so you can just cut the corners. Right, so we're coming up to a room that is very different in older patches. In older patches of the game, you could just run straight through these rooms, no problem. In this patch, you have to stay in this room and shoot everything that spawns, but do not pick up this key as for the first thing you do when you get in there, right? Go here, and you're gonna have a look there to see if you see a green glow. That glow right there, and the bridge falling, you want that to happen before you pick up the key. So you don't have to wait for that animation later, right? You're gonna get locked in with all these Nalas, you're gonna have to kill all of them. 
Use the explosive shredder for that. And then we're just gonna go on this bridge. And if you follow the left path, the exact path I took there, none of the enemies in here are gonna spawn. So you have a free roaming area. Now, you can do two ways here, right? You can do this room two ways. Right, I'm just gonna do this. You can either do the beginner way, which is basically just jump here, right? You don't wanna die or anything, you don't wanna risk it, just go right there. However, if you wanna do advanced, you go over here, you jump from around right here, a walk-off jump that is, and you ledge grab right here. Not very difficult, but it can kill your run. It has killed mine in the past. Okay, now we're gonna have to shoot some switches. Just aim a little bit above the exclamation mark and you should hit the first one. Then we're just gonna go straight forward in here. I'm using the Mag 60 for this, by the way. Shoot that one, but it doesn't really matter what gun you use because ammo here is not important. As long as you don't run out of everything immediately, you're fine. Right, head to the right. Every time there's a tunnel like this, where you come out, come out like this and there's a warp in front of you, most of the time, you always wanna head right here. There's a few exceptions and I'll tell you which ones there are, but most of the time head right. This room here is for the feather and we're not gonna go up there at all. We're gonna go straight down here. However, this is very important, all right? This is the waterfall jump. This is a very difficult trick. It'll take you some time to learn, but it'll save you a lot of time if you get it, right? So do a quick save uh, right about here. Your goal is to jump from here and ledge grab that platform over there, okay? The way I do this is I scrape left, W and A, check the input display, into the wall. I look around here, right, around that area, and I slowly turn as I do a walk-up jump. I slowly turn towards the bridge, all right? So kind of like this. Yeah? Let's see it again. If you need to check the input display, do it now, right? Scrape, walk-up jump, slowly turn, and I'm up. And then we do it again to that bridge. That is the waterfall jump. If you fall down here, right, and you haven't quick saved up there, you're gonna lose minutes, because you have to do some really, really stupid things. But once you're here, it's all good. You wanna go into this tunnel, and you wanna head right. This will take you down into the water section of everything. Now, take out your shredder here, and make sure it's set to explosive shells, and shoot upwards, right there, okay? You don't need precise aiming, just make sure the other exclamation mark goes away. That will open a gate down in the water here. And now, we get one of the best inventions in an FPS game ever, right? Torpedo launcher allows you to swim really fast and you don't no longer have to press things in a rhythm. You can do some cool things with this, right? Normally, the way you're supposed to be doing this is just jump, 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 and then jump up here. However, with a torpedo launcher, if you just hold space, you can do a really high jump like that. And as long as you're facing the wall, you should get up here and climb it. So you just hit that switch, and when you're going on your way down, remember the wall uh, rule. If there's a wall with a tunnel underwater, stick to the wall, right? Same thing here. It'll boost you downwards really fast. So now we're going to navigate the tunnels. So first, right. Then, right. Then straight forward in the room with torpedoes. Just follow this tunnel. Get out your explosive shredder. As soon as you go through this warp, you wanna fire the explosive shredder. Just just fire it like this. Because that will hit the switch immediately. And again, don't don't worry about your explosive shell count. It's not important. You wanna go up here and get this gate key. It's very, very important to progress in the level. And we're just gonna go back. Back down onto the water. Right, so now follow the tunnel and head left and just keep following this tunnel and you should be fine. Whenever the tunnel goes upwards, kind of like right here, hold space. You'll make you'll make you go way quicker. All right. Get uh, this key into that little thing. Go in here, hit this switch. You cannot activate these with weapons. I don't know why. Keep following this tunnel and take this path that I go now, right? Jump down. Jump down and jump down again. But don't go there to the lava pools. Go here to the right to these weird platforms. Also, you might wanna do some adjustments to your mouse here because these things will keep spinning and spinning and spinning. Even if you fall off and miss this, they're gonna keep spinning. 
this is bad if you fall off and die here. You want to get up to the very top. And, uh, well, just keep going forward. If you die on the spinny spinnies, as you can see, they're still up and spinning. You cannot make it back up that way again. You have to go the other way by the lava pools if that's the case. So that's a big no-no. If you're scared of them, quick save before that. All right, so again, we're gonna head right in this little intersection. Now left. So right now we're gonna enter the lava tunnels, and this is normally where you'd need the Heart of Fire Talisman, but we don't need it, you'll see why. Grab your tech bow, and you can shoot pretty much anywhere here. I always try to aim around there for this. So just shoot anywhere, and it'll just basically hit that lever. Do a walk-off jump all the way here. Make sure you do not touch this pool of lava. If you touch this pool of lava, you're gonna ruin a setup. Run in here, take the grab, or grab the full health if you need it. Grab the plasma rifle. Go up here to the right, and if you're scared about this, do a save. Okay, watch now how I do this, right? Oh, this is bad. I'm getting... <laughs> this is not what normally happens. I'm just gonna kill these for the ease of this, okay? I do a walk-off jump, and then I jump three times until I reach that platform, right? If you're too slow, and you're wasting steps in the lava, you're gonna die. So, walk-off jump, 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 jump. That's all you want to do. And then jump on the right side of this thing, right? That'll cause you to not get stuck on the climbing wall. And we're gonna head up here. As you can see, this room is a little bit orangey. This is my cue to get out the scorpion launcher. So now you want to head to the left here. Not right, we want to head left when it's orange. Now it's green. This is also another cue for you to get out the scorpion launcher because you want to use it to kill these things as quickly as possible. In older patches, you can just use a Shredder Shot because it'll bounce on enemies, but here you can't really do that. Go to the right immediately and follow this narrow path here. We're gonna be doing a little sequence break that can be a little bit scary. That's bad. Okay, that's actually a good thing that I got in this tutorial. If you try to jump a lot around those ledges, what can happen is you get slope jumped. Alright, so if you want to stay it's, or play it safe, Stick to the wall. S slope jumps are when Turok is trying to jump off of a slope and his momentum kind of just disappears. Then that happens, what you just witnessed. So that's actually a good thing that you saw that. Right, so this is where the sequence break is. I recommend you save here if you don't do this normally or haven't done it before. So you want to be around here. Just strafe and do a regular jump to this r mushroom, right? Right here in ledge grab. It's not that hard, but you can lose runs to this. I have. Right, let's keep on going here. Shredded. Now we're gonna, first and foremost here, walk forward and do a walk-off jump down here, right? Keep jumping up slopes like you always have. Get this key, and then just do a neutral jump down here again and go back this way. Now instead of going forward, we're gonna go left, right? We're going left here. And we're gonna insert the key here. Good stuff. Take out the explosive shells in your shredder and snipe that spider. This room, you can just grab the key instantly. You're gonna be faced, be facing four Nala's first. You have to kill them, so I suggest doing so with explosive shredder, like such. And then get out the grenade launcher, and you're gonna have to time some shots in here, because these are gonna spawn some blind ones, and you can kill them very fast if you so desire, like that. After that, go the way that has the full health and get out the scorpion launcher. And this truck, uh, this shot can be a little bit tricky. So you wanna shoot middle, right, and left. Like that, right? If you kill all of them, the gate will open like that. So let's do it again. Go up, middle, left, or right, and left. And then get the grenade launcher out and shoot all of these guys. Keep the grenade launcher out. And shoot that guy. Good stuff. This is one of the sections you don't want to enter, alright? If it's a very short distance like this to the warp and all you see in here are like all these wooden things, you don't want to go in here. This is a 100% area. You don't need this at all in any percent. So just go forward into the warp. And we're gonna head down over here. We're at the very end of the level now, pretty much. As you can see, the lair is not that bad. It's just a little bit hard to see exactly where you're going at times. 
so you want to jump directly here with a walk up jump to the second pillar and just keep going get out your regular green shell shredder shoot these barrels and get these red shells and get the key shredder. I would uh, advise standing on this one and then aiming to the right one first in the middle and once you see them you shoot same with these guys and then just shoot this guy as well and remember, mash enter every time we enter one of these portals, like that. And we're done. We've done all of Lair. Kind of. At least for an 80% setting. So it's not a very hard level at all. It takes some practice. You'll get used to it. Don't worry about it. This is one of the levels we don't want to refill in, though. Don't waste your time giving yourself ammo. And don't waste time giving yourself health. Just quick warp back to the hub. Do a quick save and quick load, as per usual. And open up the last level, the Primogen's Lightship, which will be featured in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. The Lair of the Blind. Your mission objectives are as follows. Imogen key found. Full health. Full health.
torpedo launcher. Mike 60. Plasma rifle. Sniper capability enabled. Sunfire pod. Full health. Shredder.
Greetings, Turok. How may I assist you? Game saved. <laughs>